Okay guys, in this tutorial I'm going to quickly take you through an example of how to find the equation of a line when you're given a point on the line that's not the y-intercept and the slope. So up until now we've always looked at the equation of a line as being y equals mx plus c. But when it's in this form, we always need c to be the y-intercept. Now, unfortunately, sometimes we're not given the y-intercept. Sometimes we're just given a random point on the line. So if you go back to page 18 in your formula tables, you'll see that you're actually given two examples of the equation of a line. And the other one is y minus y1 is equals to m bracket x minus x1. So let's say we're given a question. wouldn't be able to use y equals mx plus c because we don't know the y-intercept, but we can use this formula because we know the slope, which is 5, and we know an x1 and a y1 on the line. So all you need to do to answer this question is substitute in m for the slope and your x1 and your y1. So let's have a go at that. So it's going to be y minus 3 is equals to m, which is 5, bracket x minus 1. To finish this off, then you just need to multiply your 5 by everything in the bracket. So that's going to give you 5x minus 5. And on the left, you're left with y minus 3. And just to make this look a little bit neater, I'm going to turn it into the form y equals mx plus c. So I'm going to get rid of the minus 3 by plusing 3 to both sides. So I'm going to be left with y is equals to 5x minus 2. Okay, guys, so using that example that I just showed, you have a go at this question. So we're told that a line passes through the point minus 3, 2 and has a slope 2 over 5. Find the equation. Have a go at it, pause the video, and then play to see how you got on. So from looking at that question, the first question we should have asked ourselves is, for the equation of a line, what two things do we need? And we should hopefully know that we always need the slope and the y-intercept. Now, when we go looking for the slope, we have it, but unfortunately, we don't have the y-intercept. So we have to go to page 18 of our formula tables and see, do we have another equation, which we do. And that equation is y minus y1 is equals to m bracket x minus x1. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, we know m, we've got that now, it's two fifths, but we also need an x1 and a y1, so we're going to label our two points, x1, y1, and we're going to substitute it into our equation. So substituting that into our equation, we have y minus 2 is equals to two fifths x minus minus 3. Now we need to ask ourselves what happens when a minus and a minus come together? They turn into a plus. At this point sometimes students get confused but we really want to just get rid of that um, fraction. So we're going to multiply across by 5 which basically means that the 5 is going to come over here to multiply by the left hand side. So we're going to have 5 bracket y minus 2 is equals to 2 bracket x plus 3. Now we're just going to multiply out our brackets, so that's going to be 5y minus 10 is equals to 2x plus 6. Now at this point it depends what way our question asks us to write our answer. Sometimes we have to turn it into the form y equals mx plus c, or sometimes we turn it into the form ax plus by plus c is equals to zero. So that's what I'm going to do for this example. So I'm going to move everything over to the left. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of the 2x. So I'm going to minus 2x from both sides. And by doing that then, on the left-hand side, I have no x's to minus the 2x from, so I'm just going to be left with that on the left-hand side as well. And on the right-hand side, it's going to cancel out, so I'm left with 6. Then I need to get rid of my 6, so I'm going to minus 6 from both sides. And on the right-hand side, we're going to be left with 0. And the minus 6 can be minus away from the minus 10. So I'm going to be left with 5y minus 16 minus 2x is equals to 0. Now, you can rearrange those as well if you want to. Um, but that's perfect to leave it like that.